চিত্ত যেটা ভয় শূন্য উচ্চ যেটা শির চিত্ত যেটা ভয় শূন্য উচ্চ যেটা শির জ্ঞান যেটা মুক্ত যেটা গৃহের কাছে translate this line to english it comes as that the mind is without fear and the head is held high where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where the knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments that's exactly what the media has done in the last few months or you can say in the last few months down been all out at police six it was not easy to come back here comes the rule of a manager in the team ravi shastri may have been trolled out and out through names through this through that through different laughed up uh, you know posts but he is the man who said to team india let me tell you a couple of stories in this particular series that has happened told to team india that this 36 all out is a badge that you have to carry all your life and he added to that it's your responsibility to go ahead and make this badge of dishonor a complete honor for the cricket fraternity of the world that's exactly what india has done you accept it or not this team is a new team in india we have seen team india getting changed over the years different captains have different uh, you know strategies different captain has different ways of handling the team but this team without having a captain without having the regular captain virat kohli who is one of the greatest test cricketer of all time and definitely the greatest cricketer of this particular um, era <clears throat> or you can say this particular decade he was not there with the team not there with the team has got two problems as a captain he was not there he is definitely aggressive he is definitely aggressive and being a captain like virat kohli who is so aggressive he was actually needed in this australian 22 years beats brisbane beats melbourne beats sydney or beats adelaide wherever it if not as a batsman at least as a skipper at least as a man who has full of aggression in him who can actually dominate the australian aggression or you can say the australian sledging countering directly on their face he was not there and keeping virat kohli aside as a cricketer or as a batsman is not easy someone who has tons of runs in the last 10 years he was not there in the side and all importantly the first three pacers of the side bhuvneshwar kumar ishan sharma and mohammad shami was out from the very beginning mohammad shami was out after the first test these were the main three test bowlers india had over the last three years and they were not there now on top of that adding salt to the injury was the injury of others like umesh yadav Jasprit Bumrah, Ravindra Jadeja, Ravi Chandran Ashwin, where the team came up with a 22 years with pacers, couple were making their debuts and one made a debut in this particular series itself. The story of Mohammad Siraj is known to everyone, so as the story of Tina Trajan. Tina Trajan made his debut in this particular series, this particular tour rather. Someone whose stories can be told. It will take the entire night for me to go ahead and tell you the story. But let me tell you a story of Mahmoud Siraj. The time he lost his father, India was in hotel quarantine. And the hotel quarantine was so hard in Australia. Every single room has a police posting, not a security, I repeat. it was a police posting outside their room whosoever wanted to meet the other players from the team was not allowed to for entire 14 days they had to wash their own washrooms those those uh, finials and all these stuff were supplied by the uh, hotel ward boys 
outside the room they have to take that out slang they have to take that inside the room and they have to clean their own toilets own washroom there starts the story of mohammad shiraj who lost his father during this hotel quarantine and nobody was there to help him nobody was there to give him a shoulder to go ahead and cry his heart out that was the problem india was going through that was the problem mohammad shiraj faced and that is the person who was criticized by the australian crowd it's a disgrace to the cricket fraternity it's a disgrace it's an insane incident that has happened to the australian cricket fraternity and australian cricket fraternity rightly apologized to bcci for that that's exactly where it all started rohit sharma came after two tests he was in hotel quarantine for 14 days and then the first day of practice it was on 22 years when he opened up the indian innings and he scored a brilliant 40 we might see that rohit sharma got out with the most favorite shot that he has played but we also have to remember certain things that he was in hotel quarantine for 14 days where he was not allowed to get out of his hotel room he was not allowed to do any kind of cardio he was not allowed to touch the bat outside the hotel room it was tough it was tough with the exclusion of kl rahul it was tough with the exclusion of hanuma vihari who played maybe one of his innings of the life without hanuma vihari ravi chandan ashwin ravindra jadeja kl rahul prithvi shaw was completely out of form and and then we had to keep mayank agarwal who is an out and out opener as a number you can understand the condition of the team washington sundar who as a um, practice bowler as a net bowler was allowed rather was given a chance to play in the first 11 the spine that india showed that has not been shown over the years let me tell you another story the final day when india was batting the strategy was to go ahead and play normally to save the test till the last 10 overs and if we have the wickets in hand we can actually try if we can go for a wicket in the last 10 overs but the thought process of rishabh pant was completely different he showed the world that he is someone with enormous cricketing abilities and enormous guts over here he played his natural shots washington sundar when came to the middle with uh, rishabh pant told rishabh pant that you stay till the end i will make sure that i hit pat cummins because i know i will be able to hit pat cummins now is one of the best bowlers in the world washington sundar who was a net bowler as i told you went on to play the first test ultimately he is taking the charge of hitting pat cummins who is the best player in the world and asking rishabh pant to stay back in the end the last one hour let me tell you the dressing room story is the last one hour everybody was so tense vikram rato started babbling all through the last one hour he didn't know what he was speaking he didn't know with whom he was speaking just to come out of that tense moments he was talking all through the last one hour Bharat Arun, the bowling coach of India, was juggling the ball all through the last one hour. Ravi Shastri, after every single ball, was saying "Shabash." He said the word "Shabash" for three hundred times. That was the position where India came from. The crowd, the Indian crowds, were bullied in front of the other Australian crowds. They didn't stay back. they came to the last day they cheered india and what we saw at the last presentation ceremony it was team pain being booed from the australian crowd trust me it was not only the indian crowd which booed team pain it was the australian crowd as well because the stadium was covered with 50% of the entire capacity and among that 50% if i consider the 50% to be 100% among that 100% it was only 30% of the indian crowd and that boo was echoed for the end in the entire stadium which would be heard in television as well so you cannot say it was being booed from 30% of the crowd it has to be at least 50% from the australian crowd as well the last thing that i would like to finish with whether this team is the best team in this world or not rather whether this series victory is the best victory of india or not i will say this is definitely the best series victory ever if we consider because i have a list 
be very honest i cannot remember the entire thing so i have just jotted it down so 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 if we check the list it was 71 england that was the only series that comes at par but why this series is ahead i will tell you because 76 when india went to west indies it was not that pace battery of 3w famous Australian 3Ws were not there during that particular reign of Clive Lloyd. It was right after the series, that particular series in 76 where the 3W came up into the cricket fraternity. 86 England, we were almost having a reasonable side with Sunil, with the likes of Sunil, the Oscar, Kapil Day, Ravi Shastri, all those, all those, Gunda Pavishwanar, Chetan Shohan, and that, and that was a brilliant side India had. 2001 and 2002, 2001 Eden Gardens, let me tell you that because that has been into consideration for quite a long time and that particular series India were coming up with a team of Sachin Tendulkar, Saurav Ganguly, Rahul Javed, VVS Lakshman, Arvajan Singh, Jawagal Srinath, Venkatesh Prashant. That is a team, it's called to be one of the best teams in Indian cricket history. Very bleak opportunities to know. That was a very good side. The likes of Saurav Ganguly as one of the most aggressive captains India have. Sachin Tendulkar, he doesn't need an introduction. Rahul Javid, the greatest wall of India. Previous Lakshman, someone who has always fired against the Aussies. That was a formidable side. 2002, headingly, India has a very good side. It was almost the same side that 2001 in Eden Gardens. 2003, Australia wasn't in their full strength. Glenn Magra was not playing that series. Shane Warne was not playing that series. Australia wasn't into their full strength. 2007, great series, very close, but India had a great side as well. Nobody can deny it. Under the leadership of Mahindra Singh Dhoni, this wicket-keeping flaws were not there, and I mean there was no opportunities for anyone else. In that particular side, India came up with the best side, and India delivered as well. 2008, India and Australia was evenly poised. 2018, Australia didn't have David Warner and Steve Smith. Two main players of the Australian side were absent. And as we see, 2020, India had nothing. India had literally nothing. And that comes up on the last picture of the show, where we see the flag bearer, Sir Muhammad Siraj, lost his father. Washington Sundar, who was a net bowler playing his first test. Shardul Thakur, who was out after three bowling, bowling three balls in West Indies, he was literally making his debut. Has got the dream run of his career, started his first tour in Australia. Shumman Gill making his debut. Mayan Kakarwal, he was, you know, he was demoted down the order at number five. Rohit Sharma coming out of quarantine for 14 days without any match practice, nothing. Chetvesha Pujara being hit right and left throughout the match. And trust me, the Australians were not going for a win. Australia was going to hit the Indian players. That was the only motto. And all these adversities in the game, like we said, this is undoubtedly the best test victory or the best test series victory India ever had. Trust me, one last thing I would like to finish. This team of bowlers, Shardul Thakur, Washington Sundar, Mahmud Siraj, Tina Trajan, trust me, they will never bowl again together. They might bowl for India, they will definitely bowl for India, but not all this group will bowl together. This is definitely their first series bowling together and this is definitely the last series bowling together. Because I don't think India will ever go through this kind of a patch where India will be missing five of their main strike bowlers at a time. This bunch of people, this bunch of players, they have shown the world that India has come to dominate. India has come to take the sleep away from, to take the night sleep away from the other teams. And trust me, you won't be surprised if India went on to, I mean, go on to win this test championship that's the only thing we hope this series will always be remembered for every indians 
this series will be one of the best series being played in the cricket. A fraternity across the world and undoubtedly the best series being played.